Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Addie. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. We're here at the airfield where semis drive by every five seconds. <laughs> Today we've got something pretty cool to show you. Actually, for a toy grade drone, this stands out. So let's take a closer look and see why. Then we're gonna fly it for you and let you know if it's worth your hard earned money. Drone. Pretty cool, right? Uh, it's. You should probably do that again because I was filming the box when you did most of that. <laughs> so show them again. <laughs> Believe it or not, it makes those sound effects. See? <laughs> okay, so yeah, making sound effects. Uh, yeah, I like that. It twists. You, I That's think you could, cool. like, you know, put that in your jacket pocket or something. Yeah. And then, ready to fly it, it just kind of twists out and locks in place. Just like a pretty standard quadcopter. Um, that's one of the unique things about it. Here's a little flight battery, by the way. It just kind of pops in place in the bottom. Snaps in place. Pop. Quality control. Whoops, I turned it on. Lights look good. Yeah. And the other unique thing about this drone is the transmitter. Now, it's not so unique that we've never seen this before. We have actually seen this style of transmitter on our channel. It's kind of like a mix between a PlayStation uh, nunchuck for the for the move or whatever it's called and and the Wii nunchuck controls you know it's like a second controller for those of you that play games I don't use the camera stuff very often but I've, I've messed with them before and uh, the, the best thing about this and it's not gonna apply apply to a lot of you guys watching but believe it or not when I have featured this style of transmitter with a drone on our channel before almost every time I get someone eventually come along and say myself or a friend of mine that only has one hand can now fly drones because of this style of transmitter. So I think that is amazing. I know that they're not marketing for that audience or anything, but to know that someone can now enjoy the hobby, um, all aspects of the hobby, with this really well-designed controller that uh, you can fly the whole drone with that one controller, I think that's amazing. So. Uh, if nothing else, as long as this flies, huge credit to Helifar for being able to uh, to do that. I just I like that a lot. So we'll talk about flying with this. It's not as controllable as flying with two hands and you know your regular transmitter, and to some maybe not as fun. But you know this now fits in this pocket, while the drone fits in this pocket. Twist it closed. You forgot the sound effect. <coughs> uh, and it, it fits in that pocket. So uh, let's take a look at the other few things that come with this, then we'll fly it and have some fun. So there's your little charger. It's a USB charge cable, and it just plugs right into the battery. Um, this is probably my least favorite connector type for little uh, any type of battery, but it does work. It eventually just wears out a bit faster than the other style. And in here we have four, four spare props. A uh, little Phillips screwdriver, which, what was that, why did they, I think that's what holds the props on, yeah, a little screw. <clears throat> and here's the nicest thing in this bag, a second battery, yeah, comes with two batteries. So we get the one in the drone, when you take it out the first time there's like a plastic seal uh, protecting it so the contacts don't touch, and then another battery. I'll be honest, I only charged one for the video today, uh, but I love the fact that it comes with two. So, you know, if, if there's something about this drone that looks appealing to you, right on, you know, that's awesome because when you're in this price point and you're flying this style of drone, you're really just flying what do you think looks cool. And as long as, as long as the functionality is there, you know, that's really cool too. Oh, I should mention, this is pretty cool. It's a Wi-Fi FPV drone, so you can actually fly this from your phone and get the Wi-Fi feed too. So uh, we have a camera right there. Neat, let's fly it. Let's take off, everything's paired up well. You just click the left joystick and give it some throttle. And now the controls, like flying forward, left, back and right, are all done by tilting that joystick that you're holding. Oh wow. Yeah, so uh, let me just walk out there and show you what I'm doing. Okay.
You need to bring it a lot closer to yourself. <laughs> I got it for a minute. Okay. So, yeah, I just... It has altitude hold, so it's doing the hovering. That whole time that I was standing out there, I didn't touch the joystick. So it's, if you wanted to go higher, what do you do? You push the joystick up. Okay, what if you push the joystick to the side? It rotates. That's your yaw control. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Okay. So it's really intuitive. We just got some wind, so I just bumped up the rates. There's like a trigger, like a, like a gun trigger, or like a PlayStation R2 or L2. And <clears throat> when you push that, it increases the rates and it goes up to three, we're back down to one, two, and three. So I'm in the most sensitive rates right now. Let's fly a little higher, it's easier for you guys to see it. It looks cool. Sounds kind of like a ducted fan, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. really sound like a standard drone. The Wi Fi FPV feed is okay. It's definitely on the toy grade level, but it works. Camera quality, also toy grade quality. You know, we're here. It's like a $43 setup. I think we'll have a link to the description box below. <clears throat> and uh, it resembles that in its camera quality, but the flight performance is nice. I'm. It, it just feels very natural, very intuitive, the way I'm flying this, just by tilting this. I'll tell you what, let me land it, and I think you should try it, Abby. Okay. <clears throat> There's an emergency stop button. I want to hit that. No, you know what? I, I don't. I don't because it seems do. unnecessary. And I don't want to have to reset the app and stuff. Let's see if I can land back on the board where I took off. Oh, oh, come on, Be come impressive on. If you can. Oh, oh, so, so <laughs> close. Oh, if I would have hit emergency stop at the right time, it would have. <laughs> now, one thing I didn't test was headless mode, and you can turn the lights on and off. Um, I don't test headless mode. It's in the highest rate. Okay, Abby's at the controls. I'm at the camera, so you uh, you click the joystick to oh, start okay. the motors, and then you have to give it throttle, and get ready to tilt that thing. Oops, sorry, I was looking at your controls, being a bad camera person. It's pretty cool. So you, forward. Uh, uh huh. Backward. You're just tipping it. You don't even have to tip it. I see how much you're tipping it. You yeah. don't have to tip it that much. <laughs> yeah, you can just move it a little bit. It's so easy to fly, right? You know, like have to calibrate <clears throat> this, like. Uh, yeah, actually, like good the question. Software. So the, there's four buttons down at the bottom part of your transmitter. One is emergency stop. One turns the lights on and off. One turns headless mode on, which for this drone, headless mode would be fine. And the other one is a calibration. And when you do that calibration, I think it. Okay, there, I might be wrong, but I think it calibrates the drone so it knows which direction it's facing and gets its sensors accurate but I'm, I believe it also is calibrating your hand controller and you're supposed to hold it level which I did when you press and hold that calibration button mm -hmm. you have to hold it for three seconds one thing that I think is really neat and unique about this is that the front is under this prop like yeah. it's not between two props front is true right under this front prop. that's right that <clears throat> is front <laughs> it so it's like still the standard shape and everything, but it flies differently different because of that being the front. I noticed that too. Yeah, it's really cool. It's almost like you're flying like a like a speeder bike that has yeah. uh, props on the sides, right? Because yeah. normally, yeah, like you said, normally. Ah! <coughs> uh -oh. <Watch> my front! <laughs> <coughs> I got it. <laughs> too much y'all. I was trying to do cyclones. I want to try headless mode. I think you should hit it. It is a little more difficult to keep track of what's front and yeah. what's not. <laughs> yeah. You want to try the headless mode? No. No? Not at all. Let me test it out. But I just got to fly! Okay, okay. I think you should since it's, since you just lost your orientation. Oh that my would really... gosh, this dog just scared the crap. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan yeah. he's yeah. up to me and nudged it's my Coda. butt. I thought someone was like <laughs> touching my butt. <laughs> the dog. Where's he at? He's right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Move, Abby, move. There's Coda. Coda. He's such a pretty dog. He's so bad. You should show everyone your shirt, too. Uh, the wind picked up. What else? You got it. There, she's saving it. 
Oh, okay, I think that's officially the first time you've lost, or anyone between the two of us has lost a drone under the car. <laughs> well, the wind and the battery started dying, and the wind picked up, so like I didn't have as lost much Coda control. And Coda came up and nudged me on the butt with his nose, and like yeah. really creeped me out. <laughs> and Coda, what are you doing? Scaring people? What are you doing? <laughs> If this were crazy expensive, I'd say don't buy it, but you know, it's under $50. It transforms, has these, has these cool little, uh, that was the drone by the way, has these cool extra prop guards. It flew for, it flew for about five minutes or so, but you get the second battery. And so, um, you know, if you only had the one battery, again, that would be another reason for me to say, eh, but you have two batteries, so. Yeah, there's definitely some unique things about the strain yeah, that make it stand I, out. I like it, and flying it with this was just very cool, very like relaxing. You know, you didn't have to have both hands up and, you know, uh, kind of, I don't know, you get in that stance. And I've been in that stance for the last six years, so it's kind of nice just to be like, okay, I can keep one hand warm in my pocket and just kind of stand here. And that's how you're flying the drone. That is really right there. That's how you're flying the drone. Really cool. If nothing else, pick this up just for the experience because, you know, the travel, like you can just put it in a couple pockets. That, that's just, I like it. Yeah, two thumbs up. If you guys uh, are interested yourself, we'll have it linked in the description box below. We'll do our best to remember to try and pin it to the top comment to make it easy for you guys to find. Uh, I, I like this. Yep. We didn't even show you the turning the lights on and off. The lights on top of the drone looked really good, but it's bright out. Gone are the days where we are in shorts, frolicking it through fields. literally happened overnight. Last yes. week it was 90, and then the next day it was 50. Now we have jeans and jackets on. Yeah. What is, oh, this is crazy. But we're out flying, and that's all that matters. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.